Hi, I'm Giat, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly set up purchases for your app and lock your features behind a paywall. Let's get started. On the left, you can see that we have a demo project that we're going to set up now. It has no in-app purchases yet, and also there are no subscriptions, as you can see on the left. So let's add them using Freemium Kit. First, we need to add our project, our app, to Freemium Kit. So we select it with the plus button at the top and say Add Project. Now we can go into the app and we'll see there are no products yet in the Products tab. So let's start the Quick Setup. In the Quick Setup, the first thing we need to decide is what our pay tier should be called. We could go for Plus, Premium, Light, etc. I'm just going to stick with Pro. Now we need to decide if we want to include monthly, yearly and lifetime subscriptions. I'm going to keep all of them, but I'm going to change the price of the monthly to $1.99, which automatically adjusts the yearly price and the lifetime price, which we can override. For example, the, the lifetime one, we could make a little bit more expensive. And I'm going to also add a free trial to the monthly as well. Let's make it seven days, maybe longer two weeks for the yearly. Everything is ready. Let's create. And you'll see that there are many things going on right now. This whole process can take like a minute, but it's still very fast and you can just watch and grab a coffee if you like. All right, everything is finished and we can see we have a pro monthly, a pro yearly and a pro lifetime purchase created for us. You can see it, it says it's even ready to submit, all of them even. And we also have a review note. And please note that you also uploaded a review screenshot. So let's take a look. You can basically click one of those buttons here or I can just refresh. And we can see we have a subscription group with two purchases, a monthly and a yearly. Let's take a look into the monthly. We created a monthly, one month. It set the price we wanted to $1.99. It even localized the display name and it uploaded this review screenshot with the basic default paywall which is awesome because now it's submit ready. So that was the first step is creating a product. The next step is setting up the paywall. So let's press on that tab. And we can see there's a paywall here. We can scroll down and see basically what the paywall looks like. We can also press the open preview here, which will show the paywall for the macOS platform. And we can even click around here. And this is basically how our paywall, default paywall looks like. But we can adjust everything. We can go into the header. We could upload a new image. We could set like a mask type. For example, I want to use concave here or maybe zigzag. Oh yeah, I like zigzag better. We can set the cancel button to the left if we want or even say like we want to have a maybe later button at the bottom, which is not like this, but I like the top right one. We can go into the features and you can see this section here. We can set other things. For example, I want to say add free experience. And I want to say unlimited access. And let's add a third one, which is support any developer. Please note that all of these options are localized to 40 languages, basically all the same languages iOS is localized to. So let's work for you. Let's take a look at the product section here. So you can choose a different kind of picker. But I like the prominent picker one. And we could change the accent color and all kinds of stuff like this. And I actually want to use mint here. You can also add auxiliary buttons. For example, you might want to add terms of service or privacy policy. And we can adjust the purchase button, which has a red background right now. So let's go with mint there as well. And we can even uppercase the title. And you can see that there are three different ones. And if you notice, the Pro Monthly does not have a trial in the preview here, although we have set up a trial for it. The reason for that is we have three different kind of situations. A user might actually subscribe with the trial on and then unsubscribe. And then when they want to resubscribe, they are no longer eligible for the free trial. So they will see into the non-trial situation. That's why Freemium Kit is showing this case so we can test this case as well and see basically how the button changes. So here we have a continue button and we could choose activate now. For the yearly, we could maybe add the one with the duration inside. So let's say try free for seven days and a lifetime. I think continue is fine. Let's take a look at the screen. So we can also change the background color. What's really important is that you can also switch to dark mode. 
So let's take a look what this looks in dark mode. Looks pretty good. But with this mint color, maybe we could add a small tint of that for the dark mode background. So let's open the color picker here. Let's get the color here. Make it a lot darker, darker, darker. Something like that. All right, I like this. Great. Now that we have made our changes, it's important that we save them. So let's press save changes to remote. Saving the changes to remote means that we have a config file that is stored on a server which will be loaded by the FreemonKit SDK and used inside the paywall so you can adjust the paywall without having to ship a new version for your app. You can also see at the top that we have AB testing here. So you could just choose variant B, enable variant B. You can see it already copied the setup that you had for variant A and it also just split the group by 50%. So we could just press save and we would have A-B testing for the paywall. It's that easy. Well, let's turn this off. We don't need it right now. Instead, let's continue with the setup. So you can see in the setup tab, basically what we need to do here is drag this icon and just move it to our asset catalog. Well, let's open the Xcode project. All right, I'm inside here and you can see it's a very basic app with a few buttons. And I'm going to open the asset catalog. And let's switch to kit and just drag and drop this file here to the left sidebar. From here we need to follow the SDK setup guide so let's open it. Alright the first step we need to do is add the Swift package with this link. Now that we have added the package let's go to our app entry, import kit. And then just add an environment object to our root view. We just need to call freemiumkit.shared. And that's the basic setup. Now we can use the paywalls in our app. Let's open our view. And you can see the Swift UI preview. So we have basically a paid status view here. We just want to show if the user currently has a purchase. If they don't have, they should be able to click on it and make a purchase. This is good for like the settings of your app, just to have like a paid status view. So let's add that first. All we need to do is replace this text with paid status view. But before we can do that, we need to import FreemiumKit. Now let's call paid status view. You can see we can give it a style. It has two variants. A very plain one but I prefer the decorative one and then we can pass an icon and I really like the laurel one it really looks awesome and we don't need the colors we can just go with the default which is the accent color and white and the first thing we notice is that the preview crashes that's because we need an environment object for a freemium kit to work but the Swift UI preview isn't part of the hierarchy from our app entry point. So in the preview, we need to pass it the environment object extra. So here's our preview. And all we need to do is just call environment object here as well. And in this case, we're calling freemankit.preview, which is a specific one for Swift UI previews. And we can see that it works. Awesome. Let's continue with the next view. So we have some pro feature, if I click that, you can see we just open a sheet. It could be any kind of feature that you have behind a button, but what we want to do is we want to lock that feature if the user has not purchased yet. How can we do that with Freemium Kit? Well, basically, we have a button here, and all we need to do is we need to change this to Paid Feature Button. You can see it is locked now, which means that if you don't have a purchase yet, you will see the locked state. And if I press it, it will show the paywall. This is, by the way, a test paywall. Your real paywall will show, of course, in your app. Let's continue with the next one. So here we have some other kind of view, which you can basically replace in your head with any view that you want to imagine that you want to lock the feature off. This one is a toggle one. And actually in the freemium kit, we don't have paid feature toggle. We just have a paid feature button. But there is a flexible solution. We just use paid feature view where you can place any view. So let's do that. Paid feature view. And you can see it takes an unlocked view and a locked view. So it has an unlocked and locked state. Let's use that. And this is the unlocked state because we want to have the feature there. And for the locked state, maybe we would just want to add toggle as well. But we want to disable it. So let's just set it to true here. 
Additionally, maybe we want to change the foreground style to be secondary, so it's a bit grayed out. That's exactly what we want. Let's try it out. It already looks good. When I press it, it opens the paywall. So I can't use it. Neither can I use this. And we have the paid status view. Awesome. Now let's try to see if our paywall, if we run this app, also looks right. And if we make a purchase, if those features unlock. Well, let's just run the app. All right, the app is started, so we can open the paywall. And this is the paywall that we set up, which is awesome. We can change the selections. We can close the paywall. And let's try if we can buy it from here. Okay, it requires a login, which is kind of inconvenient in the simulator while debugging. But there is an easy solution for that. Apple has thought this through. So let's actually add a store kit testing file. If we search for store kit here, we can choose the store kit configuration file. Let's just give it the name of the app and make sure that we sync it with the App Store Connect purchases. It automatically detects the team and the app. Let's say next. Let's create it. And boom, you can see it has the in-app purchase that we have uh, configured. It has the pro monthly, it has a pro, everything is there. The last thing we need to do is we need to go to edit scheme from here to options and choose here in store configuration, our new store configuration file. Now, if we run our app, I'll press the button again. I'll say try free and we no longer have to sign in. We can actually just press subscribe here and we are subscribed now and the paywall disappears and the feature is unlocked. We can press it again. Awesome. Same for the toggle here. It works again and also says that we are active. That's how easy it is to set up freemium kit in your app. The purchases are created for you. It works with store kit testing. Everything is native to Apple's latest tools and Xcode version. But there might be some more advanced uses where you have your own logic, where you don't want to use one of those views. And this is supported by freemium kit too. So let's take a look. Imagine, for example, that you wanted to show the paywall upon App Start, which is a common thing to do just to have a paywall right at the beginning. How can you do that with Freemium Kit? Well, it's easy. Basically, you need to add a view modifier on the root of your app, which is this view. So let's just call paywall here. And it has an is presented Boolean binding. All we need to do is create a state. Let's call it show paywall. Defaults to false. And now we just pass it on here. Now we have to set show paywall to true on App Start. And the easiest way to do that, you might think, is to add here on up here self dot show paywall equals true. Which works, so let's try it out. App is starting and the paywall is showing. But there is an issue with that because now you're showing the paywall always, even if the user has purchased. So how can we check if the user already made a purchase in FreemiumKit? Well, it's easy. We just say if FreemiumKit.shared has purchased, and of course not purchased, in that case we show the paywall, and otherwise we don't. So let's run this and see. Okay, the paywall is showing. But there is a problem because we are actually purchased and it should not show if you are purchased, right? So what's going on here? Basically, what's happening is that when you start your app, the Freemium Kit SDK loads the purchase state of the user. But if you show a paywall right after the app starts, it does not have the purchase state yet. So we don't know if the user has purchased. And just to be sure, we always treat the user like they have not purchased. We need to fix that and it's easy too. So let's go into our code. And all we need to do is call freemiumkit.share.purchases loaded. If they are loaded and there is no purchase yet, then we want to show the paywall. Let's run this. Okay, now no paywall is being shown if you are subscribed. What if you're not subscribed? Let's test that. With store kit testing, you can just go to the debug menu to store kit and open the transaction manager. Inside the transaction manager, you'll see that you, we currently have a purchase. So let's right click that. Let's refund the purchase. 
and you also see that the view immediately updates and it is locked again. But let's restart our app to see if the paywall shows on App Store. Okay, the paywall did not show on App Store, so what's going on now? So if we take a look at our code, again, on appear is being called and then we're checking if the purchases are loaded. But like I said before, the purchases at the App Store are not loaded and because on appear is being called right after App Start, this is actually false. So what we need to basically do is when purchase loaded changes to true, then we need to check if the user has purchased and then show the paywall. So we need to add like an on change and check like a freemium kit. Okay, this is getting too annoying. We have a solution for this. So instead of doing all this, what you can call is the view modifier that we've built into the SDK that is just called on purchases loaded. This works exactly like on appear, but with the difference that it only calls its body once this is true. So we can remove this and it will exactly work as we expected. There we go. The paywall shows because we don't have a purchase right now. Let's activate. Let's restart. And it has checked that we do have a purchase and it does not show the paywall upon app start. Exactly what we need. So this is how you use the Freemium Kit SDK, how you use the Freemium Kit app to set up purchases, paywalls, and integrate everything into your app. It's that easy. So what are you waiting for? Try Freemium Kit today and ship your app fast with a nice paywall that you can adjust remotely and even A-B test. Let's go.